Hello everybody, my name is Oliver Walls and welcome to a brand new video on my channel and today it's a kind of, going to be a bit different, I told you about it in my upcoming video that I put out yesterday, we're going to have another podcast and today it's about VAR, I said I was going to hand the, uh, put this out yesterday, sorry if you're watching this it'll be a couple of days late but it's about VAR and we're joined again by Matt, who was in the other podcast of racism in football. Say hello. Hello, hello, everyone. So, I got this. Um, I got this off a mate saying that uh, how I feel about VAR and what it's doing in the Premier League. So we're going to go complain about it. Yeah, we're basically, <laughs> we're basically going to have a talk about what we both feel about VAR being in the Premier League and around the world. So. We both have our opinions on it. We, I'm going to let Matt start us off with he feels about VAR in the in the Premier League and all over the world. All right. So obviously we're going to refer back to last weekend with Firmino against Villa. I, I'm a Liverpool fan, so I'm a bit annoyed that the goal wasn't allowed. But at the same time, I think it was good they did use VAR in that situation. Because Firmino was offside. Like his wasn't it his shoulder that was offside. His shoulder, yeah, his shoulder was just offside. But that, but that, that, that makes sense because if the ball hits your shoulder and it goes in, that's a goal because it's that's illegal in football. And I, I don't know if the rules changed, but I'm pretty sure the rule is any body part that can be used to score a goal legally. Is offside. They're offside. If that makes sense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure any, yeah, any of it's off offside these days when the rules have actually changed in football. So that's one of the rare occurrences where I think they are actually got it right. But this season, there's been a lot of controversy. Uh, actually, going like back to the, the what, Earth. like the what, like the what, the Watford Chelsea game. Yeah, the Watford Chelsea game is what I have in mind more. I spoke for spoke for the video. Uh, Matt and me had different opinions on it. I don't know if he still does, but um, going back to that Chelsea Watford game, when uh, the thing is uh, in the second half, Chelsea uh, Chelsea lost the ball in their own box to uh, to Watford. Jorginho uh, gave it away to uh, Dilafeu, and uh, he kicked him in the back. He kicked him in the back of the leg, but he went down. A few seconds after the incident actually happened, and there was a long, there was a long delay in that match. Don't get me wrong, to see if it was, if it was a penalty or not. I, I think, in my opinion, that it, yeah, there was contact. I don't really see. I don't really thought it was a penalty. I for going for after how long he went down for, he got kicked in the leg, went down a couple of seconds later, and. Uh, he was down on the. He wasn't even down on the floor for that long. So yeah, as soon as the rest waves no, he got back up. He got back up his feet and complained. I don't think it was a penalty, only because of when he went down, like a few seconds after the incident occurred. Uh, I don't but, know if Matt has a different opinion on it. I think he does, but I don't see it was a penalty myself. Uh, I'm on the fence about it. Like obviously, there's reasons that you think, yeah, that's a penalty. But then they're afraid you going down a bit later than when the contact actually hit him is a bit is a bit suspicious. Or maybe he didn't realise. Like maybe he felt the kick late and then just decided, oh, I've got hit, so let's fall over and try and get a pen out of it. Yeah. Obviously, we don't understand their phrase mindset at this point. But that that is possible. But Jorginho obviously did kick his leg. That's contact. It's in the area. So I think it's a penalty, but but I can see like why people can't see it's a penalty. Just going back to that. Um, or do see it's a penalty, or do see it's not. I don't. Penalty. I don't see it's a penalty in my opinion. There was contact, yes, but I didn't see much in it because of the way he went down. Going back to that point, what you made just now about um, uh, what was it? I don't think I can going back to when you said obviously he did he feel the contact? Did he feel yeah. the contact? That's going back to a game at the beginning of the season. Obviously, you know about this: the Liverpool and Arsenal game with David Luiz. And oh, the, that's a, that's a penalty. The tug on uh, Mo Salah's shirt. 
Salah it said in the interview afterwards he didn't he didn't feel the contact. I still have my opinion on why it was not a penalty, but then that's that's just me. I he I didn't think there was much in it to be a penalty, and even Mo Salah at the end in the interview said that there wasn't much. He didn't feel any contact whatsoever. You obviously see in a different opinion to I do. Yeah, obviously, uh, obviously we can look on the Chelsea Watford one, and we can look at it from an unbiased point of view because we don't support either of those teams. However, we're talking about the teams we support. Obviously, you support Arsenal. I support. Obviously, I'm going to think it's a penalty, but yeah. you're going to obviously think it's not. But the point is, if you tug someone's shirt in the box or, or anywhere on the pitch, it's a it's a free kick or a penalty. I was say, no matter what, that's even if you fall over, on, it's been a rule for years. If you even if you fall over, if you don't fall over, the referee can still go. Yeah, you pull this say, shirt, it's not, it's free kick a, or whatever. It's not as what it used to be. Obviously, it was always. It was always a rule in football, but they never compared compared to this season to other seasons. Uh, bringing into the law, they never actually used to uh, book uh, the players for pulling shirts. But now, all now this season, every time there is a shirt pulled, it is it's it's a uh, constant yellow card. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's now every yellow every uh, tug shirt pull you get is now a yellow card. They brought into the law this uh, this uh, this year. Did the David Luiz get booked? That he did get put in the end for it, yeah. Okay. But Fizo, again, yes, Salah went down a bit later after the contest, so did De La Freyu, So, And they both were given as penalties. So either both of them were wrong or both of them were right. Because one can't be wrong and one can't be right. So it's one. It's either they got them both wrong or they got both of them right. So in my opinion, I think they got both of them right. Yeah. We, don't, we obviously don't know as much, only the... VAR room and the referee, they know what how penalties work and how it go, how VAR works and how they give penalties for it. I'm not sure they know how it works, but <laughs> we all have our we all have our opinions. And obviously, I didn't think Dillafay obviously Dillafay was a penalty. Going back to Firmino, that was offside. That I think there was an offside decision there. Yeah, it was they offside. Got, they, got that, they got that correct. I didn't see the goal myself. But I heard that he, I did see that he was in an offside position when the, when obviously it, when it went in. So going back to that, going back to that, we're now going to, uh, now we're going to move forward. In my, uh, in my, the important thing about this is that um, we're going back to Sunday. Obviously, we all, we all know what happened between Spurs and Everton with Gomez and Son. Gomez mm. and Son, and it broke, broke out, uh, broke out earlier that uh, Son went on that. Injury when Gomez did uh, did get taken out and break his ankle. Uh, Son, well, at least we think so. Yeah, Son did get the red card, and there was questions going around: was it a red card? Was it a yellow card? What was the right decision in the end to give? And VAR said that it was a red card incident. Now, did you agree with the red card incident that was given? Hmm. Um. Did they use VAR? Because I don't remember them being using VAR for it. They didn't. They didn't use VAR, but the ref did give the ref did give the red card, like after after a couple of, after the delay. So was it a straight? Uh, okay, I, it was. A I, I don't. I should know more about it. Is it? it was a because um, I, I think I've said in the I think I said like in private, like it was it was a red because it was it was quite reckless. He was nowhere near the ball. Yeah. It, it was a date, and that's in the laws. If it's a dangerous tackle, they can be sent off. But when I first saw the match, I thought, "Oh, it's a second yellow." If it was a, if it was a second yellow, that's completely understandable. understandable. Yeah. You got a red card, but straight red. I'm on the fence because one part of me saying, "Yeah, it's a dangerous tackle, it should be a red," but another part of me saying, "Maybe it wasn't as bad as I think." Yeah, because well, because oh, tackles always look worse in slow motion. Yes. But when in normal speed, I thought it was a yellow. Normal speed, yellow. But when you look on it, because every tackle looks bad when when it's in slow motion. But if you look on slow motion with the Son tackle, it's a red. Yeah. Going. Off so the then again, Orient. Fears are. 
hasn't Aurea been like suspended yeah, now? This this is what uh, I was going to get to in this video is that um, obviously it was broken Sky Sports news is that Son's car did get overhauled eventually in the end, which obviously I thought was a good good decision. Eventually got overhauled in the end, but to Serge Aurea they are the the FA are seeing whether they should uh, suspend Serge Aurea for what he did in the part of the challenge. I didn't see what he did mostly, but I don't know if you did, but I didn't see what he did. But whatever he did, obviously the FA are looking into what he did. I didn't see it personally, but they are check they're obviously checking it to see if uh, he should be suspended for for the next three games. Theza, I don't remember like Aurea actually going into the tackle. It's gonna yeah, yeah. Um basically I don't think he went in for the tackle. It was more of when Son went in when Son went in for the tackle, obviously he the uh, Aurea was next to him and obviously I think he hit he hit his head or something on Aurea's knee. I don't I don't see how that would have that would be a red card decision or suspension for Uria, but I have to take a closer look to it. But I, if when they do suspend Uria, it's obviously something that was obviously dangerous play as well. Uh, I've actually got the video up. I've got it on my I've got it on my screen. Obviously, the people won't be able to see it, but I'm playing it at 0.5 speed, so it's in slow motion. So Song goes into the tackle, but I he does not actually cause the Gomez leg break. I don't think. I think Aurier causes, but obviously he didn't. He doesn't. Fizzo, he is going into the tackle. Aurier's gone in. Or like after Song commits, or commits when Gomez is like in mid. So if they do suspend Aurier. From the looks of it, it looks like it's fair. Yeah, because I haven't seen oh, that's, it. Yeah, that's a dangerous tackle. You're seeing it now. I haven't really seen what Uri has done. But I knew he was part of the incident. Obviously, that's why they are su seeing if they should suspend him for the next game. But then again, if if Son didn't go in for the tackle, let's say Son was like completely out of the pitch. Let's say he was just up the pitch on it, and Gomez is running down the line, and he's about to take on Uri. Like because because Gomez is falling over as a result from the Son tackle. If he if Son wasn't there, he he would still be standing. And would the Aurea tackle be like bad? That's what that's what that's my point on it. Well, oh, okay. I have to put it in very slow motion. He goes in two footed. Gonna say obviously VAR only saw the Son challenge. Is or well, the referee only saw the Son challenge. That's why Son was given the red card. That's but two foot. Still, that's a two foot tackle. I still personally don't think it was a red card. It was just a yellow. But that's Aurea, a two they, foot. They if Aurea gets, uh, if Aurea gets suspended, I think he deserves it. I don't think he intended to hurt Gomez. Obviously, we don't know. We're, I'm not sure. Only Serge Aurea can answer that question. But from the looks of it. It's a very, very bad tackle. Yeah. It's a very, very... Son's one... Yeah, it's a dangerous one. But Aurea's is even worse. Oh, I can't look at that. 